Well, now Scan Group has announced its first year results, posting a 82.5% year-on-year decline in pre-tax profits. The decline was largely as a result of losses from the Nigeria operations and higher operating expenses. Group revenue declined 4% year-on-year on a lower corporate spend. And in Kenya, during the election period, despite strong revenue growth outside Kenya and Nigeria. Joining us now on the line to get a closer look at the numbers is Scan Group CEO Bharat Takrat. Bharat, thank you so much for, for joining us. How do you plan to come back from the setback? I think the confidence level uh, has come back in uh, Kenya, which is our core market. 60% of our revenue comes from Kenya. Um, the, the downfall in the first uh, quarter was partly because of the um, elections that took place. So we expected second quarter to take off. Um, However, uh, despite the confidence level, um, you know, the second quarter did not take off. Third quarter has taken off. So the given, uh, give, give, you know, given that scenario, quarter three, quarter four, we should be recovering very well. Uh, we are confident. Uh, most of the revenues are, are, are coming back now. A lot of new projects that had been put on hold in the first half have already been um, reignited. Um, so I think we'll be confident for the second, uh, second half. Of course. Um, the other... Go ahead, Bharat. Uh, the other uh, 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 factor that affected our numbers for the first half was the loss that we had to suffer in a Nigerian operation, which we downscaled uh, because of the, li the litigation that uh, we're going through at this point in time. Uh, so, um, again, uh, you know, we had a high cost of that operation in the first quarter, which we downscaled now. So, in the second quarter, our, 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 our loss from that operation is going to be a lot, lot less. If we look at the fact that you've also got a presence uh, in Tanzania as well as Uganda, how do you see these markets uh, playing a role in your comeback strategy? Uh, well, those Uganda and Tanzania have not been affected, uh, so they have performed pretty well. Uh, if you also look at our market where we went to Ghana, Ghana was one of our, uh, our growth markets this year. Ghana contributed pretty well. And in terms of our uh, discipline, digital also grew 141%. Uh, so I think these have helped us uh, retain the numbers, and uh, so they're also going to help us um, come back uh, during uh, the second half. If we zoom in a little bit, Bharat, into your Kenyan operations, we see that uh, revenue from Kenya was down by 9%, and a lot of the commentary has attributed this to uh, the, the uncertain conditions uh, before and after the elections. Um, do you share that sentiment, and what do you think, uh, how, how well is uh, Kenya likely to perform in the remaining part of the year? Um, well, where we're where we sitting right now, um, over 80, 85% of the revenue for the rest of the year is already confirmed because a large portion of our revenue is fee. Uh, the portion that is not a fee, which is new projects and, 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 and the revenue that we get out of media spend, a lot of the media has been confirmed already. So... You know, um, like I said earlier on, Kenya has come back now. The second half in, in Kenya is looking very, very promising. And of course, I understand very briefly that you are undergoing a restructuring process and trying to attract and retain uh, some very uh, important key staff positions. How, where do you see the business uh, in, the, in, the, in the remaining half of the year with this new restructuring? Restructuring is actually going to help us. Uh, we put a lot of synergies into the first quarter and the second quarter. Benefit of the synergies are now going to come into the second half. Uh, 